Welcome, hello floss tubers. My name is Greg, uh, also known as the One Flossy Ninja. My online friends call me Ninja, which is kind of where that comes from. And welcome to my channel. Uh, this is my first floss tube video. Uh, all you cool kids out there were having so much fun showing off your flossy projects. Uh, I couldn't help but jump in and get involved. So I apologize if this is a little obnoxious, but it is what it is. So you may be wondering, why am I wearing headphones? The reason is I had a lot of anxiety filming this video. Um, I don't like the way that I sound, I don't like the way that I look, and but it is something that I wanted to do. I do still wanna express myself. I wanna get more comfortable in my own skin. Um, and as an adult, there's no reason why I shouldn't be able to do that. Uh, I was getting really nervous hearing my roommates walk around outside my room, and although I know they love me and support me, it was still giving me a lot of anxiety. So I put headphones on, which are playing music to me, so that I can't hear them, which is just supposed to keep me calm and relaxed and get me through this video so that I can do the thing that I want to do, which is make a video that hopefully you'll enjoy. So you can't hear the music that's playing. That is intentional. However, I may edit in what I'm listening to later or uh, maybe put the music that I listen to in the comments. That just keeps me relaxed. It's really all it's there for, so why don't we get started? I am relatively new to cross-stitch. My mother taught me how to cross-stitch when I was a kid and I loved it, but for reasons, I stopped. Um, I don't really have any cross-stitches left over from that period of my life, and but as a kid, I was really creative. I was really like, I'd run around the house, mother, I have to create. I have to be an artist. And she would, she just wouldn't know what to do. She's like, well, why don't you color? I have already colored things. Well, why don't you paint? I have already painted things. Well, why don't you do this or that? So she sat me down and she was like, why don't you try this? Sit down, calm down a little bit. And showed me how to cross stitch. And I cross stitched my first pattern. I remember it was like a Chinese symbol or something. I was really into Asia and Japan at the time. And uh, I had a lot of fun. And I loved how clean and just delicate and pretty it was. And I produced this thing. I made it with my own hands. And I thought that was cool. So I started cross stitching. And then as I mentioned earlier, for reasons I stopped and I never really got back into it. Um, this year, for New Year's, I was like, I really want to get back into a creative hobby. I want to do, I already have a movie group. Every Sunday we go to the movies. I watched 53 movies in theaters last year. It's a lot of movies. However, it's just a lot of me going, sitting down and absorbing information. And I felt like this year, I wanted to get creative. I want to produce things. I want to put art and beauty and stuff out into the world and it would be an easy way for me to get cheap gifts for people uh, because I could just make them and then I have them and then I can just give them away. I started cross stitching in January. I have two finished stitches and uh, that's where we'll start. I'll show them off. All right. This first one is technically an FFO. It's done. I'm not going, I don't plan to do any more stitching whatsoever to it. Um, even though it's kind of ugly. I'm sorry. And it's this. Isn't it cute? So the Millennium Falcon. Uh, this was a design that I bought off of Etsy from um, Dinosaur Spaceship. And then this is a Star Wars font design that I bought from uh, That Turn Needle, also on Etsy. And then I just put them together, added some stars, and then stitched up the edges. Look how trashy that is. That looks like literal chicken scratch. But I don't have a sewing machine, so everything has to be hand sewn. And th this was the first time I'd ever sewn, so um, it looks like garbage. You can kind of tell down here, when I started getting used to it, the lines are straight and they're a little more even, where like here, they're all over the place. <laughs> like, um, so yeah, it's meant to be a bookmark. I plan to put it in my book as I read, and it's, it ended up being a little fatter than I wanted, but I don't care. It's mine. I made it. I don't think it'll be too fat to put in a book. Um, I do plan to spray like some Scotch Guard or something on it because I want it. I don't want it to get too grungy, but I do plan to use it a lot. So 
I don't really know how to protect it from that. Does anybody do functional cross-stitching, wearable cross-stitching? I don't know. I don't know how you protect that stuff. Um, I did just put another sheet of Ada on the back to cover up the back of the stitches so that they wouldn't come undone and wouldn't snag and all that stuff, but yeah. Um, my first finish in a very long time, my first finish of 2020, it is my January finish and yeah, I'm proud of it. And so next up, I have another stitch. This is finished. I am done stitching it, but I haven't finished it. Um, and I plan to finish it in much the similar way to that. It's another nerdy cross stitch. Again, the ship was a pattern that I bought from Dinosaur Dinosaur Spaceship on Etsy. And then the font was designed by That Darn Needle. And I plan to do something very similar to this where I plan to just cut it out and then stitch up the edges and treat it like a bookmark. I usually read two books, one fiction, one nonfiction. And so I'll have a fiction and a nonfiction bookmark uh, to use. Um, I think the one thing I'm gonna do differently though is instead of putting Ada on the back, like I did this one, um, I bought some navy blue fabric to go on the back just to give it a nicer touch and to continue practicing my stitching. I don't know if there's a better stitch to use on the edges. I don't know. So we'll see. We'll hopefully the next time you'll see this, it will be fully finished. Also, look at that, look how clean, look how clean that is. Like, look at that. Not a single run anywhere in there. I kind of get a little, most of all of, most of all of um, that is just me anchoring the thread underneath it. No carrying in this one, none. Look, I think that's so pretty. And look at the, that's one thing I'll probably do. I'll probably show off the back because I love it whenever the back is all tidy. I feel so like talented whenever the back is tiny. Tidy. So, yeah, we'll finish this off and hopefully the next time you see this one, it'll be in proper bookmark form. Um, and hopefully I'll be pulling it out of a book to show you. Um, moving on a little bit. Um, I don't actually have anything that's in progress. I have things that I plan to start probably today after this video. So I will show those because those will be my next start and hopefully my February finishes. The first one I bought, which is also technically part of my haul because I went to the store today and to stock up on thread, I have thread. Basic DMC stuff, nothing special. Uh, but it's all the thread that I need to start one of the patterns I'm about to show you. I also bought some cloths, which I'll explain what I plan to do with those. Um, and I bought some little gadgets. So the first thing that I will probably start today is this. It's just a cross stitch style United States with a heart in it. I do plan to change this up a little bit. Instead of doing a big heart in the center, I plan to do slightly smaller hearts in all of the places that I lived. I thought that would be cute. And it would just kind of reflect all the places that I live and maybe tie like, do a, do a little thread connecting all the little hearts or something. I don't know, but I think it'll be cute. Um, and it is just a kit. It came with the hoop, the string, the cloth, everything that I needed to get started. And this will probably be finished. It's really small, it's tiny. So it'll probably be finished next time you see it. I'll probably be starting this one today. The next one is gonna be here. Did I do it right? Is it there? Um, this one I designed and it is for a friend, 
my plan was to make it super, super tiny, itty bitty tiny, and put it in here. Don't you think it'd be cute to have that there? However, this ended up being way too small. I could not find fabric that was high enough count for it to, for that design to fit into this hoop. So I went to the store, also part of my haul, I bought a slightly bigger hoop. And I plan to put it here. This is for a friend. And if she's watching, she knows who she is. And so, yeah. The, I bought 32 Belfast linen white, uh, 32 count linen to do this design. And um, because on 32 count, it's three inches tall. And I'm hoping it'll fit in here. I don't, how big is this? <sighs> this is only two inches. So I'm gonna have to work on the design a little bit to get it to fit, but we'll get there. Um, I did buy a table runner scarf. Uh, and the reason I bought it is because its thread count is much higher than the 32. I bought a magnifying glass and I'm gonna try to stitch it onto the scarf. I don't know if it'll work. No clue. I'm not experienced enough, but I'm already experimenting. So we'll see. Uh, that is one of the goals that I have. We'll get to goals later, but um, just to do my own designs and cross stitch them. The next thing is also, I don't have it printed out to show you, but I did buy it on Etsy. I bought it from Nikki Pattern. Is it there? Is it there? Yeah, so that I plan to stitch. That's what I bought all of this thread for, is to stitch that pattern. And it is Boba Fett. Um, and I am kind of doing it in honor of the Mandalorian. Uh, I thought it was a really pretty pattern. I like how pretty it is, but also nerdy. Um, nerdy will be a common thing for this channel, mostly because I work in video games. I am a QA lead at a studio, at a game studio. We make games, and so my life is pretty much everything nerdy. Uh, the other thing, so that's a really small project, right? The other big project is I want to take this and do it up slightly bigger and on a pillow. So I bought this fabric, which I don't know if you'll be able to see, but it reminded me a lot of Ada. Um, I measured it to the inch and it would come out to be eight count and the idea is to move this guy up here above the quotes and then put this on a pillow um i've been watching y'all's videos and i saw y'all do it and i thought it was super cute so the plan is to have this be the top half of the pillow and then i have um some navy blue to be the bottom half and then I also bought some lace, just some cheap basic lace to go on the center. Cause I've seen, that's what I've seen y'all do. Y'all see, y'all put the cross stitch on top and then y'all have the strip of lace with the solid color. And I thought that was so pretty. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. And of course it's gonna be hand sewn. Again, I don't have a sewing machine and I enjoy the process of stitching. So I'm gonna try to hand sew a pillow. We'll see how that works. Um, however, the DMC I thought was gonna be a little too, a little too small. So I got yarn, just some simply soft yarn inspiration, Karen yarn. And I'm gonna cross stitch. I don't know if it's taboo to cross stitch in yarn instead of leaving yarn to crochet. 
which is something I would love to try later this year. The other thing I bought is some thread magic. Uh, somebody mentioned it in their video and it does wonders. Like it keeps the thread just smooth as you're pulling it through and it keeps it from doing that big coil thing. And so I've been using that a lot. Um, and then the last little bit from the haul is a needle threader. I figured I'd try it. I've always been a licker. I'm a liquor, dirty liquor, but it's only because I've never had one of these. And since I'm an adult and can buy what I want, I bought a needle threader to give it a try. Especially since I planned to give these away. It's like, maybe there's something weird about licking other people's things. I don't know. And then I just bought this fun burlap because <laughs> I want to cross stitch on it. And I think it would be fun. So these are big projects big projects instead of our tiny little aerialist that we're going to put in here. Um, so I do have goals. So let's talk a little bit about goals for this channel. I plan to do this every two weeks. I think that's enough time span that I can make progress on all of the little things that I'm doing and I'll have something to show and update. I do want to get used to public speaking and putting this out there, so it'd be great. Um, I hope to get to know a lot of you Floss Tubers more. I mean, I know several of you, because I watch your channels. Y'all don't know me, though. <laughs> but hopefully y'all will get to know me through this. Um, the goal is to put one of these vlogs out every two weeks with just progress updates for the year. If I don't want to keep doing this after the year, that's fine. Um, it'll be a fun little project, but I feel like for 2020, every other week, I'm going to do one of these updates and do a floss tube thing to show my cross stitch progress. I'm starting this early. I know it only started a month ago and I'm already like, Ooh, I'm going to join the floss tube craze, but I thought it would be a really good way of documenting progress. And I'm a fan of documenting progress. Um, my next goal, sorry, I'm looking down at my notes. Um, my next goal is one thing my mom, my mom was a teacher and one of the things that she used to always tell me is the best form of mastery is to teach. And so if there's something you want to get really good at, get good enough to teach and then you know you're good. So my plan is to make on the weeks that I don't do this, um, I'll release like a little tutorial about a stitch like basic cross stitch, how to start, stop, that stuff. I know there's plenty out there. I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel and um, put out the next and best tutorial. It's more just for me to prove that I have learned the stitch, I know how to use it, I know how to do it, I know how to execute it, and I am capable of teaching others to do it. And then if I'm doing that, I might as well share it just in case. Um, but that does bring me to a question. How frequently do y'all cross your stitches? Like, for example, <laughs> cross your stitches. See what I did there? Um, so, embroidery with cross stitch. Um, there's a lot of really cute embroidery stitches where I'm like, oh, I wanna learn that, I wanna use that. And I have this desire to make a cross stitch and then embroider it with fancy little embroidery stitches. And I don't know if that's like a taboo thing. Do cross stitchers mix their embroidery stitch with their cross stitch? Do you mix it in? Uh, is it more of an embellishment on actual cross stitch designs? I don't know. So what are your thoughts? What are your feelings about um, mixing stitch types and doing a cross stitch and then doing embroidery, more fancier embroidery stitches around there. Cause I think I'm gonna do serious tutorials on those too. At least the ones that I use in my designs. The second goal is I wanna make and stitch six different patterns because I do like the creative process. This is partly about me finding a way to be an artist and express myself and have a creative outlet. So. Um, I do want to design six patterns and stitch them. 
um, before the end of the year. And I think I could do it. Nothing big and grandiose, but like I watched a lot of y'all do these really pretty samplers, but it's like, I would love to cross stitch the sampler because I like the process of stitching and putting it together and then looking at it and knowing I did that. But I'm not super in love with the actual like cross stitch design. The samplers, why do I want to make a sampler from an eight year old in 1872? I don't know. Um, so rather than recreating samplers, my idea is to design some samplers, some nerdy themed, updated, kind of modern nerdy sampler designs. They'll be bigger. Um, and my goal personally is to make the design, stitch the design, and then frame the design, and we'll fill in this wall. Assuming I still live here by the time all that's done. Um, we'll fill in this wall with a bunch of stitches. So there's that. And I figured we could design them together. Um, I'm, I'm in a Dungeons and Dragons group. Do y'all know what Dungeons and Dragons is? Because I love Dungeons and Dragons. It's great storytelling, it's great imagination, and I would love to marry the two. So the idea here is that we're gonna stitch our own adventure over the course of the year, and using some of the ways, like rolling dice, we're gonna roll dice to determine how we're gonna move forward with um, a pattern. So, and with a sampler, specifically. Um, and hopefully at the end of the year, that particular project will be a nice, big, nerdy Dungeons and Dragons sampler that we designed together based on dice rolls. I think that'll be cool because we're not going to be able to plan ahead. We're not going to be. We're not going to know in advance what we're going to stitch. We're going to have. To, we're going to be told what to stitch based on rolling the die. That'll tell us what to stitch, and then we have to figure out how to fit it into the sampler to update the design, and then we'll have to stitch it. So I don't know if this will be like a February through November thing, and putting like piecing together this design over the course of the year, and then at the end of the year like November, December, stitching that design. Uh, but we'll see, we'll figure it out, I'll figure it out. I think it'll be fun. Ooh, drop in my magic thread, gotta play with stuff. So yeah, those are, those are really my goals, is I want a over time Dungeons and Dragons inspired and developed uh, design and cross stitch. I want to develop six other individual designs and cross stitch them. And then I want to do this every two weeks for the next 11 months until the end of 2020. A lights. A lights. <laughs> so yeah, I guess I'll end this video with just some info about me. Like I said at the beginning of the video, my name's Greg. Um, most of my online friends call me Ninja, so feel free to refer to me as Ninja in the online space. Um, and I live in Denver, Colorado. I work in video games. Um, I do not have children. I do not have pets. My roommates have pets. They are not my pets. Um, so you will never see them in the background. I have none to show off. Um, aside from stitching, I do have a couple hobbies. Um, the first big one is I'm part of a movie group. We spend the whole year watching as many movies as we can so we can predict who's going to be in the Oscars. And then we have to throw this Oscars party. So the, last year alone, I watched 53 movies in theaters. Um, I love cinema. I love, like, storytelling. I just, there's so much to love about movies and um i love all the sh i have an appreciation i can't say i love i have an appreciation for all the various genres of movies everything from period pieces like little women to 
horror movies like Midsummer to uh, action movies like The Avengers. Like I have, a, I appreciate them all. I love how they're filmed, and I want to keep movies alive. So I go every week with a group of friends and we watch a movie. We talk about it and we form opinions on all of the movies that come out in the year. Um, which is funny because this year the Oscars nominees were announced and last year I watched 53 movies in theaters. That's not including the movies I watched at home. That's not including the movies I watched on Netflix. 53 movies. I only saw two of the nominees. It's crazy. That is crazy. So, um, my other hobby is I am a coder, I guess. I like to code little projects. I'm working on an AI right now. You'll probably never see it in this video, but I like to code as a hobby. I like writing code, kind of like how I like to stitch. And I just kind of get in a trance and I dig it. That's me when I'm coding too. So, uh, yeah. I think that's enough about me. Feel free to ask questions, comments. I'll do a little bit of that at the end. Oh, so <laughs> I listen to the NPR politics podcast. I don't know if you do. I don't know if any of y'all are involved in politics. I'm not going to get into politics, but they end their podcast with, um, can't let it go. And so I, I, I don't want to name it. Can't let it go. Uh, because I don't want to straight up copy them, but I like the concept. I like ending the video with something that isn't stitch related. It's just anything that I can't let go of from the last two weeks. And currently, unfortunately, it's stitch related because I cannot let go of how awesome some of the floss tubers are out there. Like watching y'all make your videos, listening to them. I've started marathoning like Ginger Gerald. I started marathoning um, uh, Stash Sisters. Uh, there's so many that I've started watching. And just seeing how y'all treat one another, how how y'all are just kind of a family and a team, like, I wanna be a part of that. And uh, I was telling my friend a couple days ago when I was thinking about doing this, I was just like, I get so excited. Like, this 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 little cross stitch. I was so excited about this. Like, so excited. I just wanna show everybody. I was happy, I was proud. I just stare at it because I just think it's cute. And I made it, my, my hands stitched this and I loved it. And it feels weird. Whenever everybody's else is like, oh, cool, cute. And nobody else really gets exci as excited as I do. And so watching y'all get excited about thread, watching y'all get excited about fabric, watching y'all get excited about tiny little dogs in your cross stitch, like that, makes me happy because like I am like so like with this like I love not only do I love the ship but I'm obsessed with the stars I don't think you can see them but it's this cool little stitch that I learned on YouTube I googled it on you or googled it and found a YouTube video about how to make this little star stitch and I just love them they're so cute and delicate and small and I wouldn't I don't think I could have stitched it a better way. Like, it's adorable. And so seeing y'all get excited about stitching makes me happy because I get excited about stitching and I sometimes feel alone. So that's what I can't let go of this week. And with that, I think I'll sign off. So um, all the usual sign off things. If you liked this video, go ahead and subscribe so that you can see my, uh, next what will be floss tube video number two and then any tutorial i put out between now and then it'll probably be something you already know because if you're already here you're already a cross cross stitcher uh most likely <laughs> so you probably don't need to know how to cross stitch but i am going to try to put together a little tutorial video just for fun funsies um to prove to myself that i have learned how to cross stitch so 
uh, I am Genre Shinobi on Twitter. Genre Shinobi, uh, I'll, I'll put it down here. Genre Shinobi on Twitter, Genre Shinobi on Instagram, and One Flossy Ninja on YouTube. But you already knew that because you're here. So have a great day. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.